Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video today. I had been looking for little ideas to do for an equestrian YouTube channel and I found one that said how you got your horse. And so I thought it would be a nice thing to do to share how I got Lena, even though I already know the story, not everyone else does. And it's certainly a question that I get asked frequently when I'm telling people about Lena and our experiences. And so I just thought it would be a good idea to tell y'all how I got Lena. I have a family friend and his name is David Martin and he lives in the house back behind these trees. You can't see it from here. But he gave my sister her first horse and her current horse, Magic. But after he gave Magic to my sister, he wanted to get a horse for me. I actually heard an ad on the radio advertising how you can own a piece of American history and adopt a wild Mustang um, in Columbia, South Carolina when the BLM program came through. And I don't know what clicked in my mind or what made me think it was a good idea. I was only 15, so I don't know why I thought little 15 year old me should have her own wild three year old Mustang, but that was what happened. Basically, my sister had also seen an ad for the BLM program coming through Columbia on Facebook and she was going to mention it to me. And so that was kind of like my first, all right, this is, pr this is a good idea. Like I thought about it, my sister thought about it, like this is going to go somewhere, I'm going to ride with this. I remember saying to David when we were trying to sell him on this idea, I remember telling him that even if I was in over my head and I got this horse and I couldn't work, I couldn't get anything done, like it was dangerous, and I couldn't train it on my own. I knew that I had the people and the resources around me to help me and to get me through it. And so I think that was mostly what sold him was, if I couldn't do it, it wasn't just going to be, it wasn't some risk. It wasn't that I was going to go get this horse and if I couldn't train it, then I just had a wild horse that I didn't know what to do with. Like, I had people that I could go to so that if I couldn't do it, I had somebody else who could. And this all happened within a week. The time that I heard the ad on the radio was less than seven days from when we actually drove up and went and picked her up. I say all the time that I skipped school to adopt a wild Mustang and it was the best decision I ever made. And I honestly can't express how true that is. And I didn't actually pick Lena out. David saw that she was grooming one of the other horses and noticed that she was also the tallest in the group. And so she was in with a bunch of other three-year-olds. And so he called me over because I had been looking at the shorter little, there was a little buckskin pony that I was looking at. And he called me over and he pointed her out and said, look at her. <laughs> and so he pointed out all of her draft features and how big she was and how nice she was with the other horses and at this point I didn't really know what to do like I was I didn't even think that I was gonna get a horse like for some reason I was afraid that we would get rejected or something <laughs> and so we wrote down her number and we turned it into the guy running the adoption and we drew, backed our trailer up to the chute and he ran her up into our trailer and we drove her all the way home that's our story. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it was something interesting to listen to. I hope I'm not just kind of talking to no one. But yeah, this is Lena and I am Courtney and she is my entire world. So I hope that y'all love her as much as I do.